Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, I have a Bath and Body Works haul from Mercari. I bought from a very nice seller. Um, she was selling some candles, some that I really, really wanted, and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the three of them. I got it for a pretty decent deal, if you ask me. Um, they're $13 a piece, and um, after the shipping and everything for the three candles, so it's $39 plus $9.80 shipping, it all ended up being $48.80 um, total for the three candles. Um, two of them are from this year, and then um, one is from last year that I'm very excited to finally have. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do like a whole thoughts on Mercari because I also do sell on Mercari. I actually have an item going to someone um, that's currently in shipment right now. But, um, you know, getting back from that, I'm going to go ahead and start with the candles and if I feel like it, I might go ahead and do like the whole my thoughts on Mercari, like buying and selling on there. And I might do some experience or I might just do a whole separate video. And I probably will end up doing that because it is kind of a, there's a few things I'd want to go through, like different experiences I've had. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do the candles and I might do another video after this one, not sure. But um, I'll go ahead and start with the video. I'll start with the older candle. Um, it's from 2017 and I've wanted this candle for a very long time. Um, it just sold out super quick in my area and this is before I was like really in like I've been into candles for uh, like a little while now since maybe 2015 ish when I bought like my first candle. Um, but Fall of 2017 is when I really, really got into candles. Um, and this is one that came out around that time. And I smelled it in store. And this is before I know that they just would not, like, constantly be restocking things. Like, I was very new to the whole Bath & Body Works thing. So, I just always passed it up. And for whatever reason, I just never picked it up. And it never showed up at, like, the SAS or Candle Day or anything. So, I'm very glad to finally have one now. Um, these are all just going to be going into my collection says and I don't have any of these yet. Um, but I just love them so much. I'm finally, I've already said it, but I'm very, very excited to have some of these in my collection. Um, especially this one. So I'll take the lid off just to show you um, and I'll put it back on when I'm stacking them up. So the candle I am talking about is Autumn Apricot. This was from 2017 last year, fall. I love apricot candles and wax. I just, for whatever reason, I've always like really enjoyed that scent. I don't know why. Um, to me, this isn't like a Georgia peach um, or anything like that. It's definitely more, if you've ever smelled warm apricot cider from Better Homes and Gardens, it's kind of got that feel. I'm gonna go and take it off just a little bit longer. It's kind of got that same like feel to it. Um, this is just a little bit fresher. Um, it's definitely not like a mold apricot cider like the Better Homes and Gardens one is where you get a lot of that spice. It's more of like a juice. This is more like a fresh picked apricot with very, very minimal spice to it. And I love it. Um, the notes on this are harvest apricot, mango nectar, and sugared musk. This would be, I would love this if this ever came out in like body care. I mean, I hope to definitely get candles in it again, especially because I would definitely stock up on this one. Um... And I've always just been a fan of the White Barn candles. I mean, they're just so classy. I mean, there's really no other way for me to describe it. Um, I love the colored glass jars or the frosted glass and, you know, just the simplicity of the label and the simplicity of the, you know, the lids and everything. I just love everything about them. But the scents are just amazing. And this is absolutely one of my favorite candles. I'm glad to finally have it. Um, that being said, do I like it more than the Better Homes and Gardens Warm Apricot Cider? No. Um, I like them for different reasons. This one is more of like an any time of year scent, if you ask me. I'm not a seasonal burner or melter. I mean, I'll burn, you know, a fall scent in the dead of spring if I feel like it. Um, but in terms of people who are seasonal burners or melters, I feel like this would be more, you know, year round, I feel like most people could be able to do. Sorry, I have to swipe notifications. Um, but warm apricot cider definitely has enough of that spice to make it, I feel like a lot of people would only ever want to melt that, you know, fall, winter season. So, um, I love the candle. Highly recommend it. If you ever are able to find that candle for a good enough deal on Mercari, if you've never smelled it, you don't know what an apricot smells like. You have no other, you know, I think it's definitely worth the gamble to take a chance on to see if you're going to like it. Um, 
I hope they release it for next fall. Maybe even like call it fresh picked out. Do it. I have a whole nother video type of idea plan of like different collections. I'd like to see either a brought back or like a name brought back with new scents. Um, not to brag, but I'm very good at like coming up with like decent like cohesive collections like in my head to the point where like I've written them down. Um, I don't know why I just like doing stuff like that. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but this would be good in like a like if they ever did like another fresh picked collection. I think this would be, go beautiful in that collection. Um, bring back like strawberry rhubarb marmalade. I think that would be you know that's a fan favorite. I've never smelled it. I've wanted to smell it for the longest time. Um, so that's just a little sneak peek of you know a little idea I've been working on. But I think like if that were to be brought back, bring it back in like summer as a part of like a fresh picked collection. I think it would go really um, well in that time of year. So, the next one I'm going to do, this one also has like a really quick story. Um, when this first came out, I hated it. I have no idea why. Um, I just did not like this candle. I thought it smelled more like a Red Hots candle, and I just never smelt it again until it was Black Friday. Um, my mom did, I didn't do Black Friday at Bath & Body Works, my mother did. Um, she had like... A 10 off of 30 and then she had like two like in the stars free items from like can't like coupons I gave her to use um for to be able to stack on Black Friday but I saw this candle just sitting there on a shelf and it was with all the fall candles it was on a little rack in the little white barn store um the one that's closest to me is now a white barn combo store and that's what I went to for candle day and everything sadly it was not available that day or I would have bought it um getting back to the point um it was all by itself at the very top of like the little tower that they had on like a little uh, rolly cart thingy majig. <sighs> uh, I really don't know what specifically it's called, but like a little rack that you had wheels on it you could move around, you know, silver and everything. Um, they had this, it was the only one they had at the very top, and I would have bought it if it would have just been plain like 50% off or $12.95. Um, and I could have used like a 20% off I had in my email or something like that, but. It would have been like the buy three get three free, and I didn't want to pay twenty four fifty. I will never pay twenty four fifty in store for a candle. That's just crazy. It's insane. Um, the only way I would do it is to buy it and then do a price adjustment. But I didn't want to, you know, buy this. And I could have bought it and then wait, you know, wait until candle day. But I just didn't want to have to do a price adjustment on candle day and then have that, you know, hold up a line, you know, while I'm buying like the forty candles I bought on candle day. It it just would have been too much. Um. But I regret not picking any up during that time. But I smelled it on Black Friday. And that's exactly what it smells like. It smells exactly the same as it did then. And it's gorgeous. More of like a sophisticated... This is definitely not a candle that just anybody would be able to enjoy, I don't feel. I think you need to have a very specific taste to enjoy this. Even Autumn Apricot. I mean, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't be able to appreciate that one. Um... This one is kind of, it's even a little bit less so um, than Autumn Apricot, but this one I feel like if you're not into spice at all, like you think every spicy scent, like every cinnamon, pumpkin, or nutmeg, ginger scent, or whatever, you think it smells like Red Hots, you know, I don't think this is going to be your thing, but um, I saw it, I saw it, you know, these are all three from the same seller. I saw it and it was a good enough deal. You know, I paid, ended up like dividing it after shipping and everything. All of these were like $14.66, I think, a piece um, after everything was said and done. Is that the best deal ever? Absolutely not. But I mean, it was okay enough for me to, you know, purchase them anyway. Um, oh, sorry, I just got a notification that said um, Mercari does like, no, and I'll, you know, say this again in that video, but. I just got a notification from Mercari that a candle I was looking at buying um, just sold. It was an avocado coconut, but the seller was trying to get like 18 bucks for it, and then it went down to 17 and I still just wasn't interested in it for that price. Um, but bringing it back in, um, I love avocado coconut. I hope it comes back. But anyway, this, um, I you know, built it up enough. So I built this candle up enough. It is White Barn number one from Bath & Body Works White Barn. This is probably one of my absolute favorite white barn candles and packaging of all time. This brown colored glass is so beautiful. This matches my room perfectly. I've um I have a lot of dark browns and dark blues in my room. I just love the look of like blues and browns together. 
that my whole the whole house kind of has like a blue brown theme um but throughout the house there's like different like lighter shades of blue and different grays and whites to kind of like bring it all together you know towards like the living room area and the kitchen um but you know my room specifically this you know just fits it perfectly um i love this candle the notes on this are spiced nutmeg sugared cinnamon and vanilla chestnut now I'm really not getting a whole lot of cinnamon. I think it's definitely more of a background note, but you definitely get a lot of that spiced nutmeg and like a vanilla creaminess. Do I specifically get like a chestnut? No, I cannot say that I do. But that being said, it smells, the closest thing I can describe this to is it smells like a gingerbread latte. I'm gonna try and bring these up so they'll like stay in focus throughout the whole time. Maybe you can see them a bit better. Mm, looks a little bit better, but um, sorry, I just need things to look nice and neat, or I'm gonna drive myself insane. Um, it smells like a gingerbread latte from like Starbucks. I mean, that's the close, and it doesn't have it's not as heavy on the spices as a gingerbread would be. Um, but there's definitely more than just nutmeg and cinnamon, and there's, there's definitely you know a few more spice notes that are like it would be like a gingerbread spice blend. I think would be the easiest way for me to describe it. With like a vanilla, specifically vanilla, not necessarily milky, so I wouldn't necessarily call it like a latte, but it's a very creamy vanilla um, candle with like gingerbread spices. Um, I love this candle a lot. I'm so sad I didn't realize I loved it before it kind of sold out. Um, but I'm hoping if I can find it for candle day, or not candle day, good night. Still thinking about candle day. Um, if I can find any for SAS, I'll definitely be picking them up because I love that candle. So the last one I have in here today, this one was an online only candle. And I just never wanted to buy it because it was online only. I hate paying shipping for things just in general, especially at Bath & Body Works when I could just go to a store and get it. And I've just been hoping and praying that one of my stores would get them just hoping that one of them would get them, one of them will get them, it's alright, one of them will get it, it'll just be a really late fall release, it's okay, never happened, um, and I heard a lot of people, and I'm, just, I'm probably going to give this away by now, but um, the scent, you know, a lot of people compared it to crossing cinnamon sugar donut and um, campfire donut, and I have to disagree, and I mean, people can smell what they smell, like I'm not saying they don't smell it, but to me, I, I have to seriously disagree. I get zero. I'll go so I'll go ahead and show the candle so it makes more sense. The candle is pumpkin donut shop. The notes on this are sweet bakery air, vanilla glaze, fluffy cake donut, and pumpkin spice. So a lot of people seem to think that there's cinnamon sugar donut in this candle. I have to disagree. Cinnamon sugar donut is like a churro candle to me. I don't think cinnamon sugar donut gives it the justice it deserves. Cinnamon Spice Vanilla is just a repackage, so, I mean, and they're bringing it back out, um, or they're testing it, I guess. Testing. <laughs> it out, um, for spring candles, and what I'm just gonna call Sweet Shop 2, or 3.0, technically, but we don't talk about the fall Sweet Shop collection, because that was just a mess. I mean, there's a few good ones in there, like Harvest Peaches is pretty good, but, anyway, we don't talk about that Sweet Shop collection, um, very often, because that, if didn't do as great as they thought what I bet but um we had the sweet shop collection originally 2014 we had the one we don't really talk about fall 2017 and um now we're gonna be it looks like we're gonna be getting one um for spring 2019 and I'm really hoping that it, they all pass test there's like a key lime pie which is you know was testing as well circa 2016 I believe and as a repackage of tequila lime cupcake, I cannot confirm that. I've never smelled tequila lime cupcake or key lime pie to be able to say, but that's, you know, the general consensus is. Um, angel food cupcake, which, I mean, I'm, I'm seriously hoping it's not just frosted cupcake because that sounds so amazing. I'd love to be able to have one. I promise I'm going to get back into the candle in just a minute, but this is going to bother me if I don't finish it through. Pink Pal Tea Cake is going to be in that collection. I love that label. Cannot wait. Um... I hope everything in that collection passes. And then there's cinnamon sugar donut, which is just cinnamon spice vanilla. I mean, they it smells like churros to me. I don't get a churro scent from Pumpkin Donut Shop at all. 
I honestly don't even really get cinnamon. Like when I say that the cinnamon in this candle is like negligible, I mean like it's buried, buried in there. I mean like barely detect. And it, you can smell it if you not necessarily if you're looking for it, but if you hate cinnamon candles, like you just cannot do them or you can't do what Bath and Body Works calls pumpkin, which is normally just cinnamon candles. Um, this, you know, it's not pumpkin spice. It's not cinnamony. The only cinnamon in there is like a very nice, rich bakery cinnamon, but it's way, I'm talking like less than 5% in this candle. If you were to, you know, take all the notes and divide them up into percentages, that cinnamon is like less than 5%. But, um, so that's why I don't agree with that. Because I get zero at all cinnamon sugar donut. And I can see how someone could say that this is campfire donut. But I just, I don't really get campfire donut. I know that candle like the back of my hand. And I can kind of get like that same like yeasty bread note. But to me, this candle is more similar to um, cinnamon pretzel twist. I smelled them side by side. And there is definitely a difference. The big difference is, that while this does have the same yeasty, um, soft pretzel note that um, Cinnamon Pretzel Twist has, this candle does have like a very cake, I don't, I don't want to say like a greasy cake donut, but definitely like a fried cake batter. I mean, that's the big difference. And the cinnamon in this is very minute compared to cinnamon pretzel twist. And the vanilla icing note that is, I, I feel personally, that is in both of those candles um, is a little bit more amped up in this as well, mixed with that like cakey. Um, it almost smells like a blueberry cake donut minus the blueberry um, with like extra frosting on it. And maybe just a sprinkle. I'm talking like you pinch your fingers and like you're holding it way up. And just barely sprinkling it on there. That's what the candle smells like to me. Um, that being said, I love this candle. Do I like it? I like it for I like cinnamon pretzel twist and pumpkin donut shop for different reasons. That being said, I don't know which one I would say I like more. My gut is telling me, okay, stop playing games. You know you like cinnamon pretzel twist better. <laughs> But I do really enjoy Pumpkin Donut Shop, and I feel like if you can't get some Pretzel Twist, or if you feel like um, Toasted S'more, what's it called? It's on my candle shelf, too, and I got it for candle day, and I'm still blanking. That also smells very similar to Cinnamon Pretzel Twist and Pumpkin Donut Shop, and I smelled all three side by side. Again, that one just has a very dry bakery note, and that's what I feel like separates that from Cinnamon Pretzel Twist. And Pumpkin Donut Shop is that's a very specific like dry crust bakery note. This one has very moist cake in it. And the Cinnamon, pre cinnamon Pretzel Twist is a very yeasty um, soft pretzel note. And that's the big differences between those three candles. They all smell very similar. And I feel like if you like one, you have a very, very, very high likelihood of liking the others. Um... That being said, I definitely like this better than the Toasted S'mores candle. It's probably got something else. Toasted something S'mores. Um, I just don't want to open my door and go check it. I don't want to make noise in the videos, but um, yeah, that's it. This is my little Mercari haul. I think after this, since this is one, of, this is probably my, one of my shortest videos I've ever done. <laughs> um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, film my thoughts and everything on Mercari. It's not gonna be like scripted or anything. I'm not gonna have like a planned out like here's what I'm going to do but um I think I'm going to go ahead and do that so thanks so much for watching um let me know if you love any of these candles as much as I do um speaking of pumpkin donut shop real quick my last thought on this is if I can find the tester candles for candle day oh my goodness why do I keep wanting to go to candle day if I can find the tester candles for SAS I can see myself picking up easily nine eight to chop up one to put in my collection so I can move this big three wick out um but that all being said, I love this, you know, order. The seller was very gracious, you know, shipped everything out very fast. Packaging was beautiful except on the autumn apricot candle. Um, that one wasn't wrapped as nice as the other two were, but I mean, they were all still wrapped in bubble wrap. And, um, you know, there was like the little packing bubbles in there 
like four different things of them, two at the bottom, two at each, um, four at each side actually. So there's about six and there's two on top. So I take that back. There's about like six or seven things of those. Um, everything is just packaged very nicely. Nothing's broken, chipped, nothing. So I really don't have any complaints, um, with this specific order. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. Um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.